my third graders. Today is Tuesday, December 8th, and I hope that you're having a great day so far. Uh, today, I hope that you already watched your classroom teacher's reading video. If not, make sure you go and do that. And then you do need to read for 20 minutes or listen to a book. Like I said, you can find one online to listen to. You can have someone read to you at home, or you can read to yourself. Just make sure you're listening or reading for 20 minutes. Um, and then the phonics one is the same that we did last week where you have this and you're gonna time yourself for one minute and see how many words you can read. You start here on list one. If you get through list one, then continue on to list two. Uh, if you're only able to read for one minute and you only do list one, that's perfectly fine. Just read as much as you can for one minute. And then once you're done, count up how many words you read and keep track of it on the little chart right here. Put the date, which would be 12-8, and the number of words you read. After that, we have our inference practice worksheet. So inferences, once again, are kind of like guesses or predictions that we can make based on what we already know and what we have read in our story. And sometimes, like I said yesterday, the pictures can help us. Sometimes they try to trick us. But it's based on what you have already have in your brain and what you already know and have experienced yourself and then what it tells us in our little story. Um, and then based on that, you can make a guess about what might have happened or how someone feels or what could happen or time of year, where they are, just kind of from the clues that are given to us and what you already know. If it says someone's cold and they're shaking and there's snow outside, we can make a guess that it's winter and not summer. So that's just one example of inferring or making it or having an inference. Now we are gonna read, there's four little stories and one question for each one that we are going to need to do. So find this in your learning bundle and then we'll get going. I'm gonna turn the camera a little usual so that you can see what I am reading. Okay, now for these, I'm gonna read it and then you are gonna circle the answer for the question and we're gonna get started. Jen loves to do crafts. She is working on a special project. Oh no, Jen yelled. I just spilled the paint. That's okay, said mom. It's easy to clean up. Jen's little brother came running with some paper towels. Who helped Jen clean up? Was it her friend, her dad, her mom, or her brother? This one also, circle the answer. I forgot to cross that one off for you, I missed one. So circle the answer. Kim was so excited to get to school. She was bringing something fun today. I brought something fuzzy for show and tell, Kim said. Kim couldn't wait to show her friends. What did Kim bring? Once again, she said, I brought something fuzzy. That's our hint there. Fuzzy is it going to help us kind of make this guess. We're going to infer what she brought. Did she bring a book, a stuffed animal, a toy car, or a craft she made? Based on what we read and that word fuzzy, what do you think she brought? Flip it over when you've done that one. And we're going to get started on... This next page. Autumn was writing a story. At first, she didn't know what to write about. What can I write about, she thought. I know, I'll write about my new pet. What did Autumn write about? A cat, a dinosaur, an elephant, or a giraffe? If she got a new pet, which one of those would be your best guess on which one she got? And our last story, Terry and her mom are going to get a new pet. What kind of pet should we get? Asked mom. I want a big pet, answers Terry. I would like to take it on walks, 
every day. Take it on walks. What kind of pet did Terry get? A cat, a dog, or, or sorry, a cat, a rabbit, a dog, or a hamster. I was reading a little ahead. So what pet did Terry get? A cat, a rabbit, a dog, or a hamster? Which one of those would you most likely take on a walk every day? So that is our inference practice number two. Uh, and then after that, you are going to work on your My Quarantine book. And I have it for you to show you what page you need to work on today. If I could find it right here. Yesterday you had done the one where you write about the three things you miss and draw eight pictures. So hopefully you're able to do that. Today, you are going to do the How I Communicate Quarantine page. If I can find it. Here we go. How I Communicate. So this page right here is the one that you're going to be doing today. Uh, I, who do you talk to most? Do you have any friends that you're still talking to? Write that in this first box. And the next box is, I talk to these family members the most. Who do you talk to in your family? So I know for me, I talk to my mom all the time, so I would write her name in there. And then this next one is, how is communicating with people outside your home different now than it was before quarantine? So before quarantine, you could just talk to people at school, during lunch. Well, now you're at home for all that. So how is it different? How do you talk to your friends now or your family members? I know I have one student who told me for Thanksgiving they did a video chat with her cousins so that she could see them. So that would be her way, doing it online. So do that page in your quarantine time capsule workbook for today. Uh, and then if you need any help, let me know. I will be more than happy to meet with you and help with anything, even if it's not reading. Just comment in classroom that you need help and I can set up a time with you. I hope that you're all doing amazing and I miss seeing all of you. Keep up the great work and you'll see me tomorrow in a video. Bye.